Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 26th day of June 2022. And our topic for today is, God will help you. Let us pray. Our dear Father and our God, the great monarch of Zion, the one who sits in heaven and the earth is his footstool, our very present help in time of trouble, the God who is inexhaustible, our source of strength and comfort, we bless and we magnify your name, we say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we've come before you today again to enjoy fellowship and to hear you speak to us. We ask that your words would come to us today and strengthen every feeble heart. Let every lost hope be restored. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Isaiah 41 verse 10 reads, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41 verse 10 And our scripture reading for today is from the same book of Isaiah chapter 41. We'll be reading from verse 10 to 14 now. Isaiah 41 verse 10 to 14 reads, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is God will help you. And in the body of our devotional today, our Father in the Lord tells us that the best thing that can ever happen to anyone is for God to decide to help him or her. When God decides to help you, there is nothing that can stand in the way of you fulfilling destiny. When it comes to resources, he said in Haggai chapter 2 verse 8, The silver is mine and the gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. He also has influence in the highest places possible, as we see in Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1. It reads there, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. If not for God in my life, I wouldn't be who I am today. When I gained admission to Elisha Grammar School, we were to pay a deposit of two pounds. But my parents didn't have it. One way or the other, God provided and I resumed in the school. By the end of the first year, almost everything in the house had been sold. By the time I had done three years in secondary school, there was nothing more to sell. Just around that time, God brought somebody who had just returned from London to my village. Everybody went to celebrate with him. While everybody was surrounding him and rejoicing, he just turned in my direction and said, Hello, little boy. We began to talk. At some point, he noted that my command of English language was very good and I told him I was a student at Elisha Grammar School. He asked what class I was in and I told him I was supposed to go to Form 4 but there was no money. He arranged for the school fees for my fourth year. After that, my mother went back to the principal and said, Now he has done four years. Please give him his testimonial so he can go and teach. The man said, out of five years, he has already done four. He only has one more year to go. You can't withdraw him now. One way or the other, I finished secondary school, gained admission to the university, and got on the path of fulfilling my destiny. B. 
because God really helped me. I pray for you today, God will remove everything that needs to be removed for you to fulfill your destiny in Jesus' name. And we say a resounding Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is God will help you. And I'd like you to personalize it. Say it to yourself. Say, God will help me. Yes. And he will help us in Jesus' name. We know this because he has promised us in scripture like we see in our memory verse today. Isaiah 41 verse 10, it reads, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Such a powerful promise from God that every believer should always hold on to. Job chapter 14 verse 1 tells us that man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. Every man that is born into existence can never be guaranteed a life free of troubles. He can never be guaranteed that life would be a bed of roses all through. However, with every challenge we may face, we have the assurance from God of his help. And I'm glad our topic today tells us God will help you because it is really important where your help comes from. It was the psalmist that said, I will lift up mine eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help. And in the next verse, he tells us, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Very specific. When the storms of life blow at us, Psalms 46 verse 1 tells us that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Meaning to say that in the midst of that trouble, he is right there present with you. You would never walk alone. Hallelujah. Why is it also important to trust in the Lord? Psalm 60 verse 11 tells us, Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Man may have the desire, he may be willing to help. However, man himself is constrained. He does not have the final say. God does. Hence Psalm 127 verse 1 tells us, Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen wicked but in vain. And today the same Lord who preserves and keeps, who provides in abundance and sustains us, is promising to be our help. I believe today's message is for someone who is passing through some tough times. God's message to you is clear and he is saying to you, even this will surely pass away. One of the most popular chapters in the Bible, Psalm 23, verse 4 of it tells us that yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Though you may walk through tough situations, you may walk through tough times, situations that may be excruciating, and the only explanation for them is that of the valley of the shadow of death. He is saying that you should fear no evil, for he is with you. He will lead you and comfort you. And we believe that as surely as he lives, you will return with a testimony in the name of Jesus. With our God, there's absolutely nothing that is hopeless. Absolutely no situation has too bad to be restored. He tells us in Joel chapter 2 verse 25, And I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. When God talks about restoration, he's not saying he would bring you back to where you are supposed to be. He's saying that he's summing up all the years that you have lost in the past, and bringing them all back to you today. So you are missing out on absolutely nothing. Hallelujah. We trust him who has promised and is able to fulfill it that our lives will be living proofs and evidences of this promise in the name of Jesus. We'd bow our heads now and pray. We'd say, Father, you helped Pastor Adeboe. You are no respecter of persons. Please help me too. Can you make that a cry, a heart desire? Let it come from the depths of your heart. Say, Father, you have helped our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. You have proven yourself faithful in his life. Lord, manifest yourself also to me in the name of Jesus. He has told us in his word today to not be dismayed, saying he would strengthen us, he would help us, he would uphold us with his right hand of righteousness. What is that issue that is facing you, that mountain confronting you? In the name of our God, let it be made a plain ground. Name it by its name and nail it to the cross. Tell the Lord today that, Father, I surrender everything to you. Help me. Father, we wait upon you. 
we lift our eyes onto the hills from whence our help would always come. Father, have your way in our lives over and over and over and over again. Let mighty testimonies break forth from the fulfillment of your promise to us. As you helped Abraham help us, as you helped Isaac, Jacob, David, Solomon, Daniel, Father, help us also in the name of Jesus. Give us a new song to sing and put your laughter in our mouths. To the glory of your name, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you for your word of encouragement today again. Thank you for strengthening our hearts and for restoring hope to as many who may have lost it. We ask once again that unto you who hear its prayer have all flesh come. Father, glorify yourself in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Psalms chapter 70 down to chapter 71. Hallelujah. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. Again, the Lord bless you greatly. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. I'll be glad to hear from you. You can also do well to like, share and subscribe to this so you can get more. As you go forth today, Step into a new season of God's overwhelming help all around in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 16 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, O God our help in ages past. Have an amazing time today in God's presence. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. Bye for now. God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Under the shadow of thy throne, thy saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is thy norm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, all earth received her frame. From everlasting thou art God, to endless is the same. A thousand ages in thy sight are like an evening gone, short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. Time like an ever-rolling stream bears all its sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be Thou our God while troubles lost, and our eternal home. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.